Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my studio. Okay, so today we will take a look at our updated sea animal figurines collection right here. Okay, because recently we have actually added plenty of new figures. Check this out. This is like a coconut crab. We have also added a three spotted crab right here, which is really, really awesome. We have a new gopper eel as well. Some new turtles, so I'm pretty excited. I need to help with you guys because we are going to reorganize the sea animals into two different boxes right here, okay? So if this is your first time here, this is basically my studio known as the basement dino dungeon, okay? Where we keep all our dinosaurs and of course, animal figurines, okay? So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's begin, okay? Let's begin with the crabs first. So right here, we have um, the three spotted crab right here, you can see it has like three black spots on his body. This is a brand new figure, I have no idea who actually produced this, but it's pretty cool. So we're gonna keep all the crabs into one box, probably the box on our left right here, okay, let's do it. Of course, we have um, our very old crab figure right here, which is known as the Sally Lightfoot Crab. I think this has got to be one of the most colorful crab species out there. You can find purple, you can find orange, red. At the bottom, you can find blue as well. So this is definitely a very, very interesting looking crab out there. All right, let's move on. Um, okay, here we have a catfish. It is not exactly a sea, you know, kind of, kind of like sea animal because you can actually find them in like lakes and swamps. So, yep. So this is basically a catfish figure from Safari LTD. It's, it's looking nice. 2020, I think we got it like last year or so. So I'm gonna put all the fish into one of this box right here. And not a one, and not a new fish that we have just added is actually the koi fish. Not this one. This is actually our old koi fish. This is the new one, the new koi fish. But you can see they are both from the exact same sculpt. This is a 2017 figure, and this one seemed to be the same. Uh, I mean, they are just basically different color scheme. Really nice, gonna put a koi fish into this box. So in case that you guys do not know, some koi fish can live up to even 200 years old. I'm not kidding, it's super, super, they have a super long lifespan. Next up, another crab right here, we have a spider crab. Sorry, I beg your pardon, it's actually a king crab. Yeah, it looks like a spider crab for sure. And uh, we actually have two similar figures. Where is the other one? It's okay, we'll come back to that one later on, okay? Next up, let's take a look at this one. So this one is actually a pretty... You know, at least to me, it looks pretty intimidating and terrifying. And they can actually climb up trees. Coconut trees, so they are known as coconut crab. I think they can actually like take down the coconuts from the tree, which is kind of impressive. Very cool. I mean, do a Google, you will find you know images and you know, videos of it. They're pretty cool looking, I would say. All right, next up, let's try to find um the newer figures first. Okay, how about this one? This is actually known as a chambered nautilus. Is you know it's like a creature, a sea creature of a shell. Yeah, very interesting looking, and to me, it looks like an alien because of all the tentacles. Very interesting um, creature right here, the 2019 figure from Collecte. We got this like very recently. It's also known as a Nautilus Pompilus. Very cool. I'm gonna put this one um, into this box where we keep all our, you know, crustaceans, crabs, and all the sea animals with like tentacles and claws. And speaking of sea animals with claws, you can see we have a lobster right here this one looks very very cool okay uh yeah i mean this is a lobster with two huge pencils do you guys know that spiny lobster that do not have claws um i don't have a spiny lobster right here but i do have a huge one behind me uh, maybe i can show you guys later on and here we have an octopus and speaking of octopus, I think we have quite a few octopus in our collection. Here's another one. This one is actually one that I really like. A big one. It doesn't have any manufacturer name. And of course, you, you guys know that octopus. Oct basically means eight. It has like eight tentacles. Really nice. Love this figure. Um, let's move on. Okay, the next thing 
I'm gonna. I, I think let's put all the turtles together to the fish because I don't think we have enough space to keep the turtles as well. So, yep, turtles will go into the box with the fish. So, what do we have right here? Sea turtle baby. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. And you guys can see, okay, check this out. We have another sea turtle baby right here, but you know, these two figures are actually pretty different in terms of the sculpt and um, the species is also different. This is actually known as a Cam's Ridley Sea Turtle Baby, a 2006 figure. Very nice. Okay, so into this box, let's see whether there are more turtles. I think there's another one right here. And this is a Ladderback Sea Turtle. And Ladderback Sea Turtles, they are actually very unique to, um, I mean, if you compare them with other turtles, other turtles you're able to find like, you know, this kind of like hexagonal shape on their shells, but not the Ladderback Sea Turtle, which is kind of like, you know, it has like ridges across its shell in state. So what is this? Papo figure, Ladderback Sea Turtle. I think we have another one here, which is awesome. Okay, this one is from Safari LTD, I think. Uh, let's have a look, 2017 figure, yep. Very nice, you can see the ridges on um, the shell is nicely crafted. Really beautiful, let's move on. Alright, let's see what else we've got inside this box. Um, let's, let's put all the crustaceans into the box first and see whether there are more space for, you know, maybe like penguins and um, rays, okay? So what is this? Uh, oh my goodness, I have no idea what type of crap this is. Is this a coconut crab? I don't think so guys, I don't think so. I don't think this is a coconut crab. What is this? Is there like a name right here? Okay, I, I need the help of you guys cause I really cannot remember. Okay, this is the um the other king crab that I was mentioning about. So we have two of them exactly the same. I just bought another one, you know, by accident. But it's okay, it's okay. Um, jellyfish, I'm gonna keep all the jellyfish together with the crabs because I've mentioned that sea animals with all the tentacles will go into this box right here. Okay, let's move on. Two lobsters. These lobsters, I think they came in those kind of like budget packs so that that isn't like a brand to it. And you can see the detailing on these figures are, is they are actually not bad. Not bad at all, to be honest. Okay, um, yeah, let's move on. How about this one? We got this one quite recently and it came along with this turtle. And this turtle is looking very cool. It actually has articulation, so you can actually move the head out. You can move the flippers. The back flippers as well is pretty cool. Um, and this is just known as a sea turtle. Yeah, I think this is just a generic sea turtle. So it would go into the box with the auto turtles. And speaking of turtle, we have another one, which is not exactly a a sea animal. It is a red ear slider, also known as terrapines. They are able to grow up to a size, roughly about this size maximum, and they can live up to like 20 to 30 years. They can live on land. They actually prefer to live on land, to be honest with you, because I have two of them, okay? Um, they are known as Turbo and Luna. I named them Turbo and Luna. I mean, my, my, my kids named them, okay? Um, yeah, let's move on. Next up, we have a gulper eel, guys. Yeah, we just got this one like very recently and I had a hard time finding out its name and one of you guys actually told me that it is a gulper eel. So very cool. I mean, it's one of the most, you know, weirdest looking uh, kind of sea creatures out there and I'm kind of very rare as well. Hot to spot. Okay, uh, let's see what else we've got. Reef squid. Yep, reef squid right here. You can see um, it has, I don't know how many tentacles it actually has. Um, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. The other side, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. The other side is basically one, two, three, four. So, 10 tentacles. Okay, okay, cool, cool. And here's another squid. One of the, um, you know, one of them from the budget packs, and here's another octopus with um from the budget packs as well. It's not from Safari Ltd, but it's it's pretty decent. But of course, the ones from the brands, the, the big brands, will definitely be better. You can see plenty of articulation, no articulation. Now back up, plenty of detailing done. Okay, octopus, they are fantastic sea animals. Really, really clever. Really, really smart. They can camouflage themselves by changing its body shape changing the texture on his body, changing the colors as well. Extremely, extremely smart animal. And speaking of um, um, 
sea animals with tentacles. Here's another one, but this one is actually extinct. It's an ammonite. It's a prehistoric sea animal that looks like a snail. Okay, it looks like an octopus with a, with a shell. Very, very nice looking. Yeah, it's known as ammonite. Where's the name? Let me try to find. And this is actually from Safari LTD, even if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's right here. It's really tiny. Yep, very tiny. And um, I can't even see the date. It's way too small. Okay, and here's a hermit crab. Hermit crabs, they are kind of resourceful, I would say. The back of the body is actually very soft, so they have to find shells to protect their bodies. And this shell right here doesn't belong to it. They basically, you know, um, just search for shells that are left over by other sea creatures. And here's another really beautiful octopus. I think this is from Peppo. Really, really nice and beautiful one. You can see the detailing on this is um, absolutely amazing. Even the sculpt the paint scheme is great as well. And you can see the suction cups on, on every single tentacle is nicely detailed. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, let's move on. Uh, let's take a look at... Oh, we have another leatherback sea turtle. And who actually produced this? Collected. Nice. 2014. If I'm not wrong, we just got this figure added to our collection like very recently. This one as well, we got it from, I think this was sent to us by one of our Gansafarian. Uh, it's a piranha. Yep, piranhas are, you know, notorious for attacking humans, but I don't think they, they attack humans um, directly, I think. I don't think so. Oh my goodness, the, the camera dropped. Okay, here's another fish right here. And um, this is a salmon fish, all right? Salmon fish, a lot of people use them for food. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. And um, this is a manatee. We have two manatees in our collection, I think. Probably a bit more. Uh, manatees, where shall we keep our manatees? I'm not too sure. I'm gonna try to make both um, the boxes balance. So I'm gonna put the manatees aside first. So, you know, let's... Let's head back to the um, crustacean. So we have another lobster. So this one will go right here. We have a giant squid. Yes, this is supposed to be a giant squid, but I know that this figure is not big at all. Okay, so it's okay. Here's another crab, a generic um, brown crab. I don't know the species. It doesn't have the name. It came from one of the budget packs, but it's a very nice figure. And here it's a, uh, a prehistoric um squid i suppose is known as a balamite yeah it's like a prehistoric squid nice figure let's see what else we've got a small little tiny jellyfish um is one of the um good luck uh minis from safari ltd and here's another prehistoric um crustacean looking sea creature right here which is known as a pravitoceros Pravitoceros is the name written right here. Yep, hopefully I got the pronunciation right. And here's another very beautiful crab that we've got recently. It's known as a Dungeness Crab. I hope I've got the pronunciation right. Dungeness Crab. Yep, it's our one and only Dungeness Crab. It's a pretty small one, but um, I think the sculpt is amazing. It looks really great. And here's a blue crab. Yeah, it's known as a blue crab. I have no idea because the body is actually quite green. If you take a look, it's written right here, blue crab. I mean, the pincers are blue, so I guess that's how it got its name uh, from. Okay, guys, uh, I think we can put the rays into um, this box right here, the rays. Uh, because the rays aren't many, so we can definitely put them into um, this box along with the crustaceans. Or uh, maybe not. I'm not too sure. Let me see. Hmm. Maybe the rays can put it together with the um, turtles. Okay, here is a marble ray. So you can see the patterns on his body. Basically looks like the patterns on a slab of marble stone. And here's a stingray right here. This is, you know, this is the ray fish with the stink right here. Oh, uh, let's see what else we've got. Manta ray. We have a couple of manta rays in our collection. This is one of them. And um, this is another one with articulation. Um, this sea animals with articulation, they are actually pretty fantastic, but um, the pain work is not very good. They are actually made of, uh, I, I don't think they are non-toxic and the, the paint actually comes off quite easily. So I don't, wouldn't suggest getting them. Anyway, I, I don't really know the brand. It's from China, I think. Menta Birostris is actually the scientific name of this um, Mentari. There should be another one in our collection. 
which is right here. So you can see the patterns on the Manta rays, they, they look different for you know every individual. But the shape is more or less the same. Very cool. Let's put them in. And speaking of rays, we have another one right here, which is known as the cow nose ray. Yep, because I think it has like two little, I'm not too sure whether these are the nostrils or the breathing holes, but they definitely look like the nose of a cow. All right, and here it's a blue spotted ray, which looks pretty cool as well. Okay, next up, okay, let's see what we can put into the um, box with the crabs. Of course, the horseshoe crab will definitely be put inside. So right here, let's see what else we've got. We have a little lobster right here. This, no, this is not a lobster. This is a shrimp, a shrimp from Peppo, beautiful one. And here's another turtle. Um, the turtle would definitely go into the turtle box for sure. And what is this type of turtle? A loggerhead turtle. Nice, very nice. But you know, I think this figure is like one of the very old figures. So in terms of the article, not articulation, why do I keep saying articulation? In terms of the detailing, it's not very well done. Okay, but it's still a great figure. And here's another one. This is from Safari LTD. It's a much better figure. This was produced in a, produced in the same year. Okay, 2007. But I think it has slightly, it is packed with um, slightly more details. Okay. Large mouth bass, right? Um, definitely go into the um, fish box. Um, let's see whether there are more fish. Yeah, we have three clown fishers in our collection right here. Okay, Nemo, Nemo. Okay, so this is basically our biggest one, probably our best one. Clown Anemonium fish is the full name. 2005 Safari LT figure, and this is um, I think this is Nemo. I think so. Pretty cute little figure, and this one is a small, smaller version, which is um, very nice from Mojo. So we have three clown fishers. I don't mind getting more to expand our clown fish collection. Blue tank. Okay, blue tang is uh is that Dory? I think I think so. So yep. So blue tang, blue tang. I've actually seen them right in front of my right in front of my eyes in a fish tank. And blue tanks, they are able to adjust the intensity of the blue color, which is kind of impressive. So you can find some in darker shades of blue, some in lighter shades of blue. Very very cool. Okay, so here's another fish. What do you call this? Swordfish? I think so. Yep, swordfish from Papo. Quite a nice figure. Um, frogfish. Frogfish from Safari LTD. I think this one looks pretty cool. It has a kind of like, you know, uh, not a very pretty face, I would say, but it's a very interesting sea animal. It's able to like walk. I'm gonna use like inverted commerce because it can use these fins to walk on the ocean seafloor, which is kind of impressive. I mean, how many fish can walk? I don't think there are many. This is definitely one of them. And um, what else we have? We have a green ray with blue spots. Looks pretty cool. Um, so into this box as well. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Do we have more fish? We have a squid right here. Do we have a name of this squid? Yeah, I think this is just a squid. Let's just call this a squid. Okay, let's see. A tiny little ray, okay, into this box. And this is actually known as a cephalopes. Cephalopes, I think, is a prehistoric sea creature. I do not have much facts about this sea creature, so I want you guys to comment down below. Give me some facts about the Gopher eel as well as the cephalopes. I think that will help me. So if I'm able to read out the facts from you guys, I'll be able to tell you guys in the next video. So this isn't like an exercise for you guys, okay? Search up Gopher eel and cephalopes. Okay, so this is these are basically the two figures that I've just added to my collection, and um, I don't have much information about them just yet. Okay, so I think it's time for us to decide how we're gonna put um, the fish. But let's finish off with two fish, angler fish right here, and a flying fish. We'll go into this box. Here's another angler fish right here, which is pretty cool. Um, this is a prehistoric fish which is known as a coelocanth, okay, coelocanth, so into the box as well. Um, Ichthyosaurus, which is a prehistoric sea creature, I'm not too sure whether it's related to a shark or a dolphin or a fish, but I'm going to put it inside this box along with this two, fox face, rabbit fish and box fish. Very, very interesting looking fish into the um, fish box. Uh, no doubt, we have a small little eel right here, not eel, a small little ray right here, uh, another small little manta ray. So let's decide. I think we have quite a lot of space in the crab's box. 
So, how about we put all the penguins here first? Okay, let's go with all the penguins. So, what do we have right here? Um, a humboldt penguin. And this is actually from Safari LTD. Quite a nice figure. Okay. And here's a chinstrap penguin. One of the most easily recognizable penguin species of all time. Because once you see this little stripe across the chin, you're able to tell that this is a chinstrap penguin. So, into this box right here, your new home. And this one, I think it's a emperor penguin or either a king penguin. Uh, can't really tell because um, it's not really well done, I would say. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's from Collecte. Okay, okay. And, um, oh, we... I have no idea what fish this is. So if you guys know, please comment down below like... Like, um, you know, the timestamp and let me know what is this blue fish. Please, I need to know. Okay? And here with an African penguin sliding on his belly, to be exact, a South African penguin from 2007 Safari LTD is a nice one into the box. And here's another penguin, African penguin 2017 into the box with a puffin. Puffin, I'm gonna put the puffin together alongside with the penguins because they do look kind of um I wouldn't say they look similar. The colors look similar. Black and white. Okay, into the box. And here's another one. Uh where is this from? Mojo, okay, into the box, and here's a small little African penguin as well, into the box, and here's a penguin chick, probably an emperor penguin baby, yeah, and here is a rock hopper penguin, I think this has got to be the most stylish fish, I mean the most stylish sea animal out there, you know, take a look at the feathers around the um, head, it looks so cool, yeah. Penguin and basically his name is a penguin, but this is a rock hopper penguin. We have two rock hopper penguins. Here's another one. Okay, very nice. Rock hopper penguin. Okay, two of them. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is a um, a ray and it has a rope right here. I think. Uh, yeah, it came with a diver and a diver is supposed to like hold on to the um this little rope, so the the ray is supposed to like you know carry the diver along, which is kind of cool. Okay, so penguins. This one is a really beautiful one. Was given to us by one of our Dan Safarians. Uh, yeah, very beautiful. Into the box. And here's another one into the box. So I think the penguins are living happily here. Maybe we can put the polar bears into this box because we still have quite some, quite a lot of space. So, but this polar bear is, is big. It's a baby polar bear from PNSO into the box. That little corner, I think, will do. Okay, and here's a really beautiful one from Safari LTD 2008 um, Polar Bear. This was just added to our collection. Literally, we have a couple of Polar Bear Cops. How adorable. One is from Collecte, one is from Schluck. Another one is from Schluck. And see, they are all super cute. So we have like a, um, a group. How do you describe a, you know, like a group of bears? Do we say a, a herd? No, I don't think it's, it's a herd. Um, a pride? I, I, I can't remember. A group of bears is known as... I need the help of you guys, okay? Google it, okay? That should be a nice term to describe like a group of polar bears. Another fox face rabbit fish. Very cute and adorable. Another turtle that we have missed out. Okay. Let's see. Manatees. Where can we put the manatees? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the manatees into this box right here. So we have two manatees in our collection one is from safari ltd and the other one is from Peppo. both are beautiful and here it's a um, dugong very nice and here is a leopard seal i think so spotted seal okay spotted seal yeah i, I beg your pardon this is a spotted seal for sure leopard seal is this one this one is much more ferocious you can see the teeth really sharp um Warriors, oh my goodness, where should we keep our warriors? Maybe in, in this box. So we have quite okay, we only have three warriors, but they are all quite beautiful. This one is from Safari LTD, this one is from um Schleck, this one is from Wano. Okay, both I'm mean, not both, all three are beautiful. Okay, um yeah, we are left with some random animals another ray right here which has no name or species starfish i'm gonna put it together with the um, crustaceans 
um, seahorse. We have two seahorses right here. This one is a really small one that we just added to our collection. Uh, yep, from Schleich. Beautiful one. And this one is from Safari LTD. Nice one. Weedy Sea Dragon. I've seen them uh, right in front of my eyes in the um, aquarium. Yep, they look exactly like this. Um, we have the um, Goliath Grouper. Yeah, 2015 a fish. They have missed out just now. Another spotted seal. Um, sea lion. We have three sea lions as you guys can see. This one is from Safari LTD. It's quite a nice one. Another one from Safari LTD. This one is known as a California sea lion. Yep. So into the box. Hopefully you have space. Squeeze them in. We have a mini blue tang right here. Absolutely cute. Super adorable. Um, leopard seal, I think. Yep, leopard seal. Leopard seals, I've actually seen a documentary or okay, maybe not a documentary. I actually saw a um I've seen a video of, of one leopard seal attacking a boat of people. Yeah, it was um very interesting but very frightening for the people as well. Um Moray eels, we have three of them. Um okay, this box, this box. Okay. Dugong, another one, a mini dugong. So into the box. This is a hop seal, not a spotted seal, hop seal. Wild Safari hop seal, nice. Nudie Branch, Nudie Branch come in all sorts of different colors. Some come in really, really colorful colors. This is one of the um less vibrant Nudie Branch, I would say. Super cute, great white from um the minis. And here's a dugong, mini dugong. So yeah, we have successfully reorganized our two boxes of sea animals. So this is basically our updated collection of the sea animals, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.